Hey guys, so today we're going to be showing you this really cool drone. We've had it for a while, but we, we would really love to show you how it works and stuff. So it's called the MJX Bugs 2. So it's inside this box, but for now I'll just read to you what it says on the box and, the fun and about the functions it has. So this drone has one key return. So yeah, it will pretty much just return to where you took it off when you tell it to. It works really well because of its GPS. And it also has IOC, Intelligent Orientation Control, which pretty much is uh, headless mode for those of you who know how to use drones and stuff. It also has low power automatic return, which means that when it's on low battery, it will automatically return to where you took it off. And barometer altitude hold. That means that when the wind pushes it away, or if anything pushes it away from where it's currently hold hovering, it will automatically return to where it's hovering. And finally, lost contact automatic return. So that means that when it, you lose signal and the connection just do, it doesn't go far enough, then it will automatically go back to where you took it off. So let's go fly. Okay. Alright, so let's just turn it on for a start. So this is pretty important because a lot of people have just uh, t tried to turn on their bugs too, but it doesn't work. So this is how you do it. You want to hold this red button here. Hold that and then switch it on while you're holding it. Alright, so that means the control's on. I'll put this down and now we go to the drone. So basically you just want to, the battery should be out so the control must be put in first. It must be turned on first and you just clip it in like that. It should make that sound and the control should also make a beeping sound. And that means that it's control. That means that your control and the drone is turned on. So now let's uh, calibrate it. Cool. Okay, so this is the calibration uh, um, system. So you've got to turn this around three times. Okay, one, two, three. And this is just to calibrate the compass inside. I do it for a fourth one just to make sure it doesn't matter. Once you've done that, then you turn it with the nose pointing down. Already I can see that the colors are different on the, on the bottom of the drone. And you do it three times like this. One, two, three. And now those colors have changed. So we've got basically, I don't know if you can see it, but solid orange lights in the top two and solid red lights in the bottom. That means it's calibrated and it's ready to go. So I'll just put that on the floor. Alright, so we've only just turned on the uh, drone and we've already got 13 satellites. So um, the minimum satellites uh, is the minimum amount of satellites that you need to use GPS mode on your drone is 7. So yeah. Um, so here you can see the number 13 and it means we're connected, but we have to switch this from A to B so that we can use them. So yeah, let's go. Alright, so now let's uh, take it off. So before you want to do anything, you're going to want to click this red button just one time. And as you can see, the um, motors have started to move. So now we'll do the one key takeoff, which is the button just below the unlock button. I forgot to mention, this also has brushless motors, so that's really cool. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you in flight, what it's like in flight. Oh, you can see the birds flying around it a bit. But yeah, so... Now, uh, I want to show you guys, um how well it stays in position. So we'll just get a bit lower. All right. So. And it 
stays right back. So that's probably one of my favorite functions that the stern has. It will always stay in place no matter what. Right, so now I'll demonstrate the return to home function. So uh, we just landed it again, but let's try again. So wonky takeoff. Oh, sorry. Unlock it and then wonky takeoff. So we're going to see if it will actually land straight on the box. or I, I'm not sure it will, but I know that it will at least get very close to the box. So we'll get it a little far away over there in that corner. And all right, now we'll click this button right here, the return to home button. Uh, button. And one time, and you can see it's starting to rise to a safe height, so so that no trees are like in the way. And it's already coming back. <coughs> Wow, so that actually got very close to the box. Alright, so now our control is making this um, beeping sound. So this is the low battery warning. So it will give you this warning it, uh, like uh, two or three minutes in, adver in advance before it actually happens. So while we're waiting for it to run out of battery, let's try out some barrel rolls. So if you don't already know how to do the battle rolls, you just uh, use your right control and do, uh, put it at the top, so do up, and on your left control you just go left. So let's try it. Pretty nice. Now we'll try right barrel rolls just by putting the left control on the right. That. Yeah, it's actually doing some nice barrel rolls. You can see all the lights have gone away. So, yeah, when it's making the long beeps, like not doing the beep, 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 if not just these, a bunch of long beeps, it means that it's automatically controlling your drone and it's just returning to home because it's got low battery. So, yeah. Alright, so now we're going to do a height test. So, down here, H, um, that stands for height, obviously. So, right now it's on zero, zero, zero because uh, it's zero, zero, zero is where the drone is right now. 
the distance is zero zero zero. Uh, so height and distance. The height is uh, how high it is from where you take it off, and the distance is the same thing, except like length. So um, yeah, let's take it off and uh, go to its full height. We'll unlock it and one key it. So for this, we're just gonna go straight up without moving. It. Yeah. All right, so now we're at, we're at 72, 73 meters. We'll go a bit higher, 80. Now up to 90, and we're at 107. All right, let's keep going up. 110. 120, 30. 140, 150. Can you see it? No. Nah. Oh, I, it's just like I can't see it with the camera, but I can just see it with my eyes. Do you want to set up the tripod? 200 meters. Alright, so right now it's pretty much just a dot in the sky. 250. And the distance uh, is 000 because we haven't moved it away from where we uh, took off. 300 meters. It's just a little tiny dot up there. 350. 370. And you can see here, which is this is the signal, it's uh, full, all bars up, so it means we've got good signal. Alright, we're at 440. 450, 460, almost up to 500, 480, 490, and almost there, we are at... That's it, that's the maximum it will go. Mm -hmm. And still, we have uh, a full signal, but yeah, so it will not go any higher. Because it's such a good cloudless day, with your, with my eyes I can see a teensy tiny little dot up in the sky, but it's really nothing. Okay, so right now we're taking video, and you can see here, the, the video icon is blinking, which means I'm taking video. So I'm just going to move it, like, just very slightly, so we can get that view from all the way up there um so yeah so now we're just going to stop the video and i'll show you how to do it so right here you've got your photo icon photo and video so if you want to get a photo you just click it once and a photo icon will appear there then if you want to get a video you just hold it until you hear a beep There. <laughs> Whoops. Um, yeah, and then the video icon will start blinking. So, I'm just going to keep turning it around a bit so you can see what's up there. Alright. Oh, okay, so, yeah, now we'll just bring it back home using the return to home button. Click that once, and you'll s and it will start coming back. Yeah. This is the part that I like best because you're just looking up and waiting for it to come into view. And also I'm looking at the control, seeing uh, how low it's getting. So, it's at 460 meters right now. Signal. So it's sort of going up and down. Um, but that's okay, it will just keep coming. Uh, even if it beeps a bit, you'll only really have to worry if it's on one bar or and like you're really high or if it's just like no bars at all then you're stuffed 
Nice. Oh, I think that's the, yep, that's the low battery warning. Mm, just in time then. Yeah, just in time. Alright, so with the remaining battery we, we have, we're going to uh, get it um, away, f we're going to get the drone away from us, and we're going to just switch off the control, so as if we've lost connection and lost signal, and hopefully, so then we can uh, test out how well the automatic um, like return works. Um, so yeah, let's try it out. So we'll arm it. Take off. So we'll get a little far away. Get to that corner again. Or the wind started to pick up a bit. That's okay. Alright, so now we'll just switch off the control. Off. Did you turn it off? Yep. So let's check out the drones over there. Oh, it's starting to rise. Yeah, I see it. I see it rising. Someone else is showing off the truth. Alright. No. Oh my god. Yeah. They're playing the super noisy drone. Alright. Right. It actually works really well. And right next to the box too. Wow, that's really awesome. And you can see the control is definitely off. Jeez, that drone is loud. But uh, that actually works awesomely. All right? Cool. All right, see you guys. Bye.